Hey guys, I just wanted to show you guys something I did not too long ago. Um, if, if you've ever had one of these, this is a rechargeable lantern. Uses a, it has a little 6 volt gel cell usually in here. And it's usually a removable pack that you can put on the charger. It had no way to externally charge it, you know. But it basically down in this base, it had that. Well, what I did, because the battery in this one was nowhere to be found, and it was pretty much going to be trashed. Ooh, my focus looks horrible. There it goes. It was originally going to be trashed. And it's a good, it's a good LED lamp. It's, you know, there's nothing wrong with it other than the power source. But I had some thoughts on it. I says, well, it's a 6-volt battery. And it was one of those ones, you know, it said to plug it in, but I don't know how the hell you'd plug it into this with no uh, port on the side. But it said, use 9-volt adapter or 12-volt uh, car power cord. So I'm thinking 9 volts is usually what they put on one of these things when they have a 6-volt cell. Well, sure enough, it had a 6-volt cell in it. So, uh, well, it had it originally. I found out later when I looked it up. So, uh, I had this empty lamp and no way to power it. So what I did, let me show you this. One sec while I take this apart. Okay, I quite literally, I quite literally gutted this thing. I took the support for the battery, and that's all that was in this thing. Apparently, all the regulating and charge circuitry is, is up in the top or on the circuit board that contains the LEDs. So I just took that battery pack out. Six volts, right? Well, there's something that comes extremely close to six volts, and that's USB power uh, banks. And all of that technology, it rides at five volts, which your eyes are not going to be able to discern the difference between 6 and 5, especially when you've used power off the battery for a little while. It, it'll drop into the 5 point something range and keep going down. So I had a mouse that died. That's also why I'm not uploading uh, from my PC today. But I had a mouse that died, and it had a beautiful USB cord, so I ran it in here, and I just attached to where the power went in. I just taped that off and tied a knot, and put all that there and uh, ran power to it from there. And here's what I discovered. Let me show you something. So out of that uh, lamp, I made a, I drilled a really tight hole for this wire. So you have to really work to move it in and out, but I still knotted it on the inside. And I ran this old cable to my dead mouse, my recently dead mouse. And no, I did not kill the mouse for this project. The mouse died. And uh, that was kind of crappy because I was right in the middle of doing something when everything stopped. But I went ahead and took this cable, and I've got this old Uniden 10,000 milliamp hour pack. Oh, that's the... I thought a fly had landed there. It's the recording light. <laughs> and uh, I just got this. Let's see if I can do this on camera because getting these things the right way, you know how much of a pain it is. Just plug it in there. So we got all that plugged in, and uh, oh, I'm reaching way over there, <laughs> hand eye coordination. And there you go. Check that out. And it's, it's running like a champ. I did this with one of those little bitty, I'll show you, this little pocket juice adapter. I think this is like, where is it on there? Yeah, 2300. And it ran all night on this. It ran all night on this. Hours and hours. This The LED technology in these things is so unbelievably efficient. Now, here's the weird thing. When uh, I had this on a 6-volt power pack, I actually had it on a 9-volt pack when I was driving it first. And those lights were only that bright. When I went down to 5 volts... It stayed the same brightness. It didn't get any dimmer. It's a, it's it's not the brightest lamp in the universe, but apparently there's some kind of regulator other than a drop resistor in there somewhere because the brightness of the lamp did not deteriorate with the lowering of the voltage. So I'm thinking all those LEDs in there are probably. Let me see if I can meter it down. Will it meter? No, it won't. It's matrixed. Um, 
There's probably one, two, three, four, 16 LEDs in there. And I bet you every one of them are in parallel to some extent. And that the voltage is being dropped well below uh, what it was rated for to run those. Because like I said, it had a multitude of power sources it could use. You know, it was either the 9 or the 12 volt adapter that came with it. And even uh, below 9 volts, I'm running it at 5 here with this pack. And it's holding the same brightness that it was holding there. I thought it would get a heck of a lot dimmer. It didn't dim at all. This is where it, it always ran, even at higher voltages. So yeah, I think other than just having a current limiting resistor in series with this, I think they got some kind of a regulator chip, maybe a 7805 or something in there. I think if I drop it below 5 volts, this will start to dim because it gets below the threshold of the regulator. So I think this is the bare minimum you can run it on. But man, what a cool thing. I took this thing. I have USB fans that plug into this. Now I have a USB lamp. I can have them all off of a central power source. So pretty awesome. And, and this is big enough. I should be able to run this for uh, two or three days, maybe. This is this is a 10,000 milliamp hour, and uh, it still had light. It still had light by the morning hours. It, it was just going and going, and it had reached 25%, but let's see. I started this thing at midnight, somewhere around there, and it ran till 6 a.m. Not bad. Not bad on a little pocket juice thing. I don't think Walmart makes those anymore, but uh, if it'll run that long on a tiny pack, imagine what it's going to do with one that's uh, five times more powerful, you know, five times more capacity. So that's cool. That's really cool. So I've got my USB light, my USB fan, powered fan. Now I just need a USB powered radio maybe a weather radio or something to plug in there. I don't know. This is, you know, you can still use it to charge your phone and everything. So making the maximum use out of this just by adapting old equipment that would have otherwise been thrown away. So if you have one of these old lights that had the, the little six volt pack, I don't have the model number because the sticker on this thing, there's a spot where the sticker was and the sticker is gone. So I kind of had to logic this thing out. And uh, it's pretty cool. If you, f if you have a lamp like this, actually, if you have the little, uh, they have a blue one like this that uses like four C cells, that's six volts. You could easily adapt that down, you know, if it's LED. Don't try this with one that has a fluorescent bulb or a regular light bulb. These things are only designed to output two amps at max, I think is the most this thing can generate. You don't want to overload your power pack. I would only do this trick with LED type lanterns. And uh, it's a cool way to revive an old piece of camping equipment that otherwise would go to the trash. But anyway, that's my video. I just thought I'd show you guys that. I, I got a kick out of that one. I got that all wired in and I plugged it in and uh, flipped the switch and the dead gum thing came on. And it draws so little power that these little ones... They can sense my USB fan, and that's uh, 250 milliamps, I think, or somewhere around there. And uh, they could not sense this. This actually draws less than 250 milliamps because I had to press this button to get that to come on and actually uh, push that. It will not sense that. I, I have to manually activate it. And in the manual for these, it said some loads may draw so little power that you have to do that, so... I'm thinking that's probably drawing uh, maybe 100, 150 milliamps. It's it's a good deal uh, less power draw than the other. Because these these only run about maybe an hour or two at most on one USB fan. But this ran all night. That ran all night. So that's nice, you know. And I haven't tested the full runtime on this. I've already started... Um, this started at 4 o'clock, and we're going to see how long it'll push this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I jarred the cord. <laughs> there we go. But anyway, so we're going to see what it does. Very happy with that. Very happy with that. 
I wish I could get those to meter down so I could show you the LEDs in there. Well, you can kind of see them. Anyway, y'all have a good one. And think of innovative ways to reuse old equipment. Maybe you can make it work in a new way. Just adding to that, I just thought I would bring this out and show this to y'all as well. This is a USB fan that I use. I have two of these that I use for camping and a third one that's a little bit bigger. That's too nice. I, I refuse to pack it because it has a digital clock display in the fan. But uh, anyway, uh, this also, I'll plug it in and show you. Well, guys, I'm going to show you something. I think I was right about this regulating. Let me show you what happens when I turn this on. This pulls the uh, power draw. Watch this. Well, you can't see it in the camera, but that light is actually flickering at a rapid rate now. So, this is having a hard, hard time. Those are, those are popping in and out real fast, and it's weird that it's not showing up on the camera, but it is annoying. It's like, did 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 They're actually flickering off and coming back on. Uh, maybe that gap is... Can I zoom? Yes, I can zoom. See, if I can get it to meter down, I'll show you. That's what it's doing now. So, yeah, I think there's a regulator inside that thing. I'm going to try it with a different power bar and see if I've just reached my power limit. Let's see, when I turn that fan off, the fact that we've got flicker in the blades of that fan is telling me that uh, that, that uh, is using some kind of driver circuit to push those LED. Maybe they've got a little jewel thief that boosts the power up or something. Who knows? I'm going to try this with a bigger power pack. I have a 20... I think it's a... It's not a 30, uh, it's not a 3,000, oh God, I can't remember. It's not a 30,000 uh, 30, milliamp hour pack. It's a uh, 24,000. So I'm going to get it because it can output more power. And let's see what happens then. Okay, so I've got this. Rui uh, Pu... I have no freaking clue. It's one of those fly-by-night Asian companies that sell these gargantuan power backs, uh, power adapters. But this one's got some intelligence built into it. And uh, it's ready to go. And this is 24,000 milliamp hours, according to them. And it can output quite a bit more current. Almost every single port on this thing is rated at 2 amps. So, And I've pulled it that hard. It can put out that much power, but it's going to eat your capacity pretty daggum quick. But it doesn't get hot or anything. It, it, uh, it can push that current on each port. So let's see what happens when I hook these guys up to this. Let me go ahead and uh, turn this lamp off. There we go. And that's going to cause this guy to stop outputting, which is what I want. This is kind of hard to do with one hand, so you guys just bear with me. I don't want to drop this, so we're going to get my finger on it. There we go. And I'm going to move the camera over a little bit. There we go. Now I can access it. What we're going to do, ports one, this port, and this port are the high capacity ports. They're supposed to be able to do a hell of a lot more power like 2.4 amps on these and this and this are uh, 1.5 or some weird thing like that it's, it's odd but uh, they can kick out so let's see what we can do here this is actually a neat thing it's pretty intelligent it can tell when it's uh, got a load pulling on it <clears throat> it can tell what it is it's connected and it uh, it will give it the appropriate amperage it's it's interesting some new technology the old power banks didn't have. Okay, that's the fan. Now this little guy, only this should not even draw even close to an amp, so let's put him right there. And I'll lay that down, because I do not want to drop that. That is brand new, man. I'd be out eh, about $39. So here we go. We'll start with the lamp. Seize the lamp. 
sense power, all good. Now, oh, this one can do it. This one can do it, no flicker whatsoever. Awesome, okay, that tells me that this one, well, we're getting a little flicker, but not a ton. It's not even really noticeable, to be honest. So that's telling me that the technology in this is probably a bit newer than the technology in this. This alone can run this, or it can run the, uh, the fan, but not both. Now this will run two fans, and it runs them pretty well. But uh, this new power pack is driving the hell out of that, so uh, awesome sauce. That may not quite be rated for two amps over there. It, it may, uh, or not much above it. Of course, the older one, this one, it was two amps across all three of those connect connectors. Excuse me. That would be coffee working on me, which I am drinking. Whereas this one can put two amps on every connector. I think that's the difference here. But there... No, that's the lights flicking above the table. That coffee maker runs. Let me shut those off. There we go. Now, we can probably see in the video any disturbed output that might be coming from this. But, uh, yeah. And it, it puts off quite a bit of light. I mean, my uh, camera, it shows up dark in my camera because everything gets darker when you press record. But, uh... I'm, a, I'm really happy with that. I'm really happy with that. And uh, I can take that. Let's see, I believe that's the one on the bottom. I'll pull it out. Nope, that's the fan. That's on the top. But what I'm going to do, if I can get it loose, there we go. See, it's still outputting to that fan. Turn that off for a minute. I'm going to use <clears throat> one of these little... Let me get the movie light on on this thing. Okay, now we got... Since all the lights in this room are off now, I'm going to use this one. And uh, that's the input. I need the output. Walmart made these, like I said. They, they didn't make them, obviously. They sold them for a short while. They're good little power packs. I don't think they perform close to what they're rated at. Oop. Close to what they're rated at. What are they rated at? 2200 milliamp hours. Okay. But uh, let's go ahead and plug that in. And all these things, they have the gimmick. They have the flashlight gimmick, you know. So, But I hardly ever use it. Now, the flashlight gimmick makes more sense on this one. Because yeah, look how small it is. There's your flashlight, you know. It made a lot more sense on that one than it did on the other. But let me show you something, show you how little power this thing draws. Watch when I flip it on. Oh, it actually outputted that time. So, yeah, most of the time I have to push this button to get it started, but it's actually running now, so who knows? It seems to be doing real good. But there you go. And that's it. That was the little tag on for this video. Just, uh, I'm glad we discovered that. I would have walked out to the campsite and that would have presented a problem for me. It's either the regulator in this starts to flatline right at the 5 volt threshold, or this device's uh, back, back buck converter cannot hold stable power output with both of those devices running. It's good that I know these things now. Yeah. But yeah, I can get so many hours out of these little packs, it doesn't matter. I can pretty much carry any combination of this stuff up there. So Y'all have a good day. And uh, just thought I'd show you all that.